E.T. is today's movie, today's review. Um, a classic from Steven Spielberg, of course, about the little funny-looking alien who uh, comes to Earth and is left behind, and his mission isn't to harm Earthlings in any way, isn't uh, meant to destroy the planet, but he's just a peaceful being, and he just wants to get home. And, and he is able to do that. Spoiler alert um, from the help of... Uh, uh, three special little kids um, who who learn to love him and learn to love each other through him, and it's a very sweet movie. Um, this, of course, was at the time 1982. This was a huge, huge hit. Uh, I, I mean, everybody saw this movie. Everybody and their mother saw this movie. Everybody and their second cousin saw this movie. Everybody on Earth saw this movie, and it kind of brought people together. You know, cheesy whatever, uh, but it's true. I mean, you don't see a movie quite like this, uh, like kind of like a helpful. Uh, well, not helpful, hopeful uh, kind of movie about uh, alien life and kind of peace that can be found. Um, this is one one of the earlier movies that I remember seeing, actually, when I was a kid. Um, I actually have the infamous uh, VHS tape um, that, you know, that has the uh, the green on it. You know this one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is where it's at. This is the classic VHS tape of E.T. Um, green protection because... I don't know, um... It, it helped prevent copying it? I, I don't know what the, the story of that is, but I'm sure other people know the story, but I'm not too familiar. But, of course, I mean, all things considered, I traded in for this Blu-ray, uh, which is an exceptionally transferred uh, uh, print of, of the film. Um, very well done. Uh, I love the movie, and though, you know, when I was a kid, it did kind of creep me out, because E.T. was a little creepy, a little bit, just a little bit. Like full and home, you know, uh, creepy. Um, but uh, you know, he's he becomes almost like the pet to the family, or whatever, sort of. Um, little Elliot, of course, you know, uh, developing the bond with him, uh, very literally uh, developing a bond with him, because kind of through whatever kind of extraterrestrial uh, means, he, he does kind of share Elliot's experiences, his feelings, basically. Um, so there's that great moment, you know, where Elliot's at school, and E.T. is, like, at home getting drunk, and Elliot gets drunk in class, and he frees all the frogs, and that's such a beautiful scene, too, and, like, he's looking on, on TV, and he, you know, sees uh, the, the guy kissing the girl, and then Elliot kisses the girl in the class, and it's a sweet moment, um, you know, though these days, you know, Elliot would be, like, arrested or something, because that's just how it is, whatever, um, but, uh, yeah, and Dee Wallace, of course, is, is the mother, very great, um, Drew Barrymore is the adorable little girl, um, you know, I dressed him up, yay, I taught him that word, oh, she's so cute, so adorable, um, and, yeah, I mean, it just has all the things that, uh, uh you'd expect from Steven Spielberg, like, very emotional, uh, very heartfelt, and, and it does have some really good scenes of suspense, like, you know, especially at the end when they're trying to get, uh, E.T. away, um, but uh, definitely some harsher moments that, you know, I, I actually wouldn't recommend a very young kid watching this. Maybe, like, you know, like a four- or five-year-old probably shouldn't watch this. Like, there's some terrifying scenes, like, especially when, you know, E.T. is dying, and, like, you see him all, like, pale in, in the creek, and, oh, my God, mm, that is horrible. That, like, just thinking about that, it makes me very uneasy, very uneasy. Um, but, you know, ultimately, you know, it is, it is a happy movie, and kind of from where Spielberg was coming from, it, it was kind of about, you know, the, uh, uh, the the incomplete family, basically. Of course, a theme with a lot of his films uh, is that the father is taken off, or that there's a bad father. Father issues, basically, um, which is experienced here, and, you know, the kids are always talking about, you know, uh, oh, father's gone, they, they reminisce about him and stuff like that. So, kind of the bond that they share with E.T. is that he's missing his family, too, and uh, it's it's sweet. I mean, it, it really is, and so it kind of hits on a very grounded level with that. In addition to, of course, you know, uh, sci-fi wonder and, and great special effects with with the ET creation, both animatronics, puppetry, and, and a costume for a little person in, inside the costume. Um, so I think it's it's a very effective film uh, from special effects, from its story, its direction. Uh, not to mention John Williams' score, obviously. I mean, everybody knows that score. It's one of, it, like, you know, f from a, a composer that literally makes a great score. He can make a great score in his sleep. Um, uh, has a uncountable 
uh, a number of great scores. This is one of John Williams' best scores, in my opinion. Um, so it's great. I think he won an Oscar for it. This movie, of course, was nominated for Best Picture. Um, didn't win. Uh, it lost to Gandhi, which I know a lot of people take issue with, but, you know, Gandhi is, is a great film in and of itself, and they're two very different movies, ultimately. Um, so it's hard to say, but uh, definitely this is, has remained a classic that still, I mean, people, everybody knows this movie. Everybody's seen this movie, even to this day. Um, and, of course, something worth mentioning is that uh, when it celebrated its uh, 20th anniversary uh, in 2002, uh, there was a reissue, uh, both theatrically and on DVD, uh, where Steven Spielberg fucked with the movie, um, much to fans' dismay. Um, you know, he included some CGI improvements on E.T., included a scene where like he's like in the bathtub or something like that edited out uh, the FBI agent's guns and put walkie-talkies in their hands, which was like, what? And, you know, cut out the penis breath line, the terrorist line, stuff like that. I don't know. But thankfully on, on Blu-ray now, that's kind of a distant memory because you can see the film preserved the way it should be seen, the way it's always been seen, um, and the definitive version. Uh, so, you know, he, he kind of had a uh, George Lucasian, if that's a thing to say. Uh, George Lucasian uh, laps in judgment, uh, but he corrected that, and thankfully uh, the film itself is preserved for generations to come. It's a sweet movie. It's a great movie. One of the all-time great movies. I mean, I can't really express anything that hasn't been said before. A lot of people are affected by it in different ways, uh, but it's a great film, a great science fiction film, a great family film, and one of Steel uh, Spielberg's best, in, in my opinion. So, uh, definitely, if, if for whatever reason you do happen to be a visitor from another planet um, and you are not aware of our earthly customs and you haven't seen this movie, then please, by all means, check this one out. It's, it's one of the greats and you won't regret uh, seeing it. Uh, so definitely uh, one, of the, uh, one of the unique uh, Oscar-nominated films that uh, kind of was brought up to that higher level because of the, the cultural uh, impact that it had um, with, with audiences everywhere. Uh, so it's a great film. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I have to say, so thanks for watching. More to come.